the song? Yep. I love the mountains. I love the clear blue skies. I'm Discovery the Channel is an American cable channel. The channel launched on June 17th, 1985 as the Discovery Channel, but was renamed to simply but was renamed to simply Discovery Channel in 1995. And to this very day, the company is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. John Hendricks founded the channel and its parent company, Cable, Ed Cable Educational Network Incorporated, in 1982. Several investors, including the BBC, Allen and & Company, and Venture America, raised $5 million in startup capital to launch the network. The Discovery Channel began broadcasting on June 17, 1985. It was initially available to 156,000 households and broadcast for 12 hours each day between 3 p.m. and 3 a.m. About 75% of its program content had never been broadcast on U.S. television before. In its early years, the channel's focus centered on educational programming in the form of cultural and wildlife documentaries and science and historical specials. It also broadcast some Soviet programming during this time, including the news program Vrimia. The channel also carried two teletext services over its VBI during this time, infotext offering news and from the Associated Press as well as information about agribusiness and agriculture, including commodity prices from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange on a 15 minute delay, and, David, and Data Vision offering trivia, strange news stories, games, and a satellite TV guide. Both services originated from WHA-TV in Madison, Wisconsin, and were run by the University of Wisconsin-Madison. In 1988, the channel premiered the nightly program World Monitor, produced by the Christian Science Monitor. In 1988, the Discovery Channel debuted an annual programming stunt called Shark Week. The week-long event eventually gained in popularity starting in the 1990s and continues to be shown each summer on the channel to this day. By 1990, the channel was available in over 50 million households. The channel began to shift its focus in, early, in, in the early 2000s to attract a broader audience by incorporating more reality-based series focusing on automotive, occupations, and speculative investigation series. Through the refocused programming strategy proved popular, Discovery Channel's ratings began to decline by the middle of the decade. The drop in viewership was widely attributed to an over-reliance on a few hit series such as Monster Garage and American Chopper. Some critics said such shows strayed from Discovery's intention of providing more educationally based shows aimed at helping viewers learn about the world around them. In 2005, Discovery changed its programming focus to include more popular science and historical themes. The network's ratings eventually recovered in 2006. On January 4, 2006, Discovery Communications announced anchor Ted Koppel, executive producer Executive producer Tom Betag and eight and eight other former staff members from the ABC News magazine Nightline were joining Discovery Channel. The network was nominated for seven Primetime Emmy Awards that year for shows including The Flight That Fought Back, a documentary about the hijacking and the United Airlines Flight 93 and during the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, and Deadliest Catch, a reality series about a group of seafood fishermen. In 2007, Discovery Channel's top series included the Emmy Award and Peabody Award-winning Planet, Earth, Dirty Jobs, Mythbusters, and Deadliest Catch. Discovery Channel's 2008 lineup included Fight Quest and Smash Lab. On September 1, 2010, 43-year-old James J. Lee entered the Discovery Communications headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland, armed with a handgun. Lee fired at least one shot and held several employees hostage. He was later shot dead by police. Lee had published criticisms of the network at SaveThePlanetProtest.com. 
In December 2015, Discovery Communications launched its TV Everywhere service, Discovery Go, which features live and video on-demand content from Discovery Channel and eight of its sister networks. And there's a history of Discovery Channel. How did it become so popular? Well, I think when they won those Emmy Awards, I think that's how they became very popular because those shows were very popular at the time when those Emmy Awards were basically given out. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end off this video. If you guys haven't seen this video, please make sure to like the button and also don't forget to subscribe. I get videos every single day. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell on my second channel. My second channel will be the third link in the below. And if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram or send me fan art, you guys can send me fan art on my Instagram. My Instagram will be the second link in the below. And if you guys would like to join my Roblox fan group, my Roblox fan group will be the first link in the below. And if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter will be the fourth link in the below. And if you guys would like to follow me on Reddit, my Reddit will be the fifth link in the below. And if you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, my TikTok will be the sixth link in the below. And if you guys would like to check out my Facebook page, my Facebook page will be the seventh link in the below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!